Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.4 update on my iPhone 12. So as you can see, this is my iPhone 12. And yesterday night, I have received iOS 15.4. And mind you guys, this update is for everyone. Whosoever is having iPhone 6s plus from iphone 12 or 13 the latest iphone you should be able to have this update now for you to have this update make sure you go to the settings and go to general and about section and then make sure that you are on ios 15 first of all and then go for the software update and then you should be able to see the update now in this video we're going to talk about the different features of ios 15.4 especially ios 15.4 brings the ability to unlock with face id while wearing a mask although this feature is restricted with iPhone 12 and newer devices so here in this video also I'm going to demonstrate this feature so make sure you watch this video till the end so with that being said let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section as you can see if i tap on the software version the software version says ios 15.4 and the new build number is 19e241 now i had taken a screenshot yesterday so if i could just show you before updating the software version was ios 15.3.1 and the build number was 19D52. And also with this iOS update, we have a new modem firmware update as well. So as you can see, uh, before updating, the modem firmware was 2.23.02. And after updating, if I could show you, we have a new modem firmware update, which is 2.53.01. Now, mind you again, modem firmware will vary from different iPhones. So for my iPhone 12, whatever is the modem firmware, if you are having a different iPhone, probably iPhone 13 or iPhone 11, for you, the modem firmware will be little different. Also, before updating, as you can see, the storage space available was 22.47 GB. And after updating, as you can see, it has reduced a little bit. So available space is 19.89 GB. So mind you again, you know, I have just updated my iPhone. So it probably takes a couple of hours to set things in the background around so you know this available storage space would increase in few days so then again this is all about ios 15.4 now let's talk about what is the most important feature of ios 15.4 so as i showed you in the screenshot as well so it clearly says that the ability to unlock with face id while wearing a mask on iphone 12. now due to this covid all of us were using this iphone and iphone unlocking iphone has really become a trouble although we have that feature whosoever is having apple watch with a notch in the wrist they can just you know really unlock the iphone but all of us not having apple watch right so it is very important to have this feature so if you just could go to the settings and face id and passcode let me put the passcode as you can see if i just scroll down now we have a new option which says face id with a mask now i have already set it up so it is very easy to set up it's just you know scans your face without the mask so after that you need to turn on this feature once this feature is turned on then you would be able to unlock your iphone with the mask on so now let me demonstrate this feature so guys now let me demonstrate this feature now i am wearing a mask right now so as you can see i am wearing a mask so if i lock my phone and try to unlock it so let's see whether it works with the mask on so it already you know unlocked my phone as you can see with the mask on i can unlock my phone just with the face id as you can see so this really works so one more important thing is that you know this feature will only work for iphone 12 and newer devices so if you are having any older devices like iphone 10r iphone 11 you know iphone 7 or 8 this feature will not work for you so that is the important thing so now apart from that there is one more feature that i would like to talk about if you go to the siri and search and if you go to this you know voice option siri voice so till today we have only voice 1 2 3 and 4 now with ios 15.4 we have also voice 5 so there is this addition of new voice 5 if you just could hear it hi i'm siri choose the voice you'd like me to use 
so as you can see there's a new voice so if you want to use a new voice so that option is there with ios 15.4 now there's also this uh, you know this uh, emergency sos thing is there so there's new option which says call with hold if you press and hold the side and volume buttons the emergency sos trigger appears if you continue to hold them a countdown begins and alert sounds and when the countdown ends iphone calls emergency services so this option is there with ios 15.4 so with uh, this wallpaper we don't have any new wallpapers but if you are having or using iphone 13 then you should have a new wallpaper which is a live wallpaper for iphone 13 green model so apart from that guys if i talk about the battery so after updating the battery health has decreased by one percent so before updating the battery health was 99 percent and after updating it has become 98 percent so i have been using this iphone for now you know seven to eight months and it's completely fine to uh, have the battery health down by one percent now now talking about the battery graph it's pretty early to comment about the battery graph because i've just updated and as you can see uh, the screen on time is five hours 20 26 minutes and screen off time is 1 hour 32 minutes so probably after using this iphone with ios 15.4 i'll come back with a battery life and a follow-up review after a couple of days so stay tuned for that and also talking about the performance performance in general is really good although iphone 12 should not have any performance issues but you know the performance is really snappy people who are looking for geekbench 5 scores i have run the geekbench 5 score as you can see for my iphone 12 after updating to ios 15.4 the single core score came out to be 1582 and the multi core score is 3996 so let me know if your iphone scores are around the same if you are using iphone 12 model so apart from that as you can see the phone is performing really nice and there are no issues at all but i would like to talk about some resolved issues which apple resolved with ios 15.4 so the first thing is this is not mentioned i know a lot of people you know have commented on my earlier videos regarding the iphone storage bug so if i click on general and then iphone storage as you can see how quickly the iphone storage gets loaded so if you tap it for the first time it takes a couple of seconds probably 30 to 35 seconds to load all these applications i have discussed this like people who are using ios 15.3.1 or older ios version are really having some trouble with iphone storage and the storage is not properly loading and if i just go down as you can see it's giving me the proper and correct representation of all the data and how much storage is it consuming if i go down as you can see the ios is consuming 8.85 gb and system data is consuming 11.56 gb so remind you if you are having iphone storage issues please do update your iphone to ios 15.4 this would definitely resolve your iphone storage bug now talking about the update in general whether you should update to ios 15.4 not only this ios 15.4 includes face id with mask and you know the new siri voice model apart from that it also comes with lot of security updates so for that only you should update to ios 15.4 now if you're already running ios 15.3.1 then definitely you don't have to do anything you just have to connect your phone to wi-fi and you should be able to have ios 15.4 so then again this was a video regarding ios 15.4 update let me know if you have already updated to ios 15.4 and how many of you are using iphone 12 or newer which is iphone 13 model so that you know you are able to use that unlock with face id while wearing a mask feature so i'm pretty excited and this is really an important and handy feature all of us should be able to take the advantage of new features i'm really excited to use this new features so then again that's it for this video i hope you all enjoyed this little video if you have enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye bye